First of all, uh, talking about some of the things that floated around this morning, it's not the right time or place to talk talk about my relationship with Dan Snyder, or it's not the right time and place to talk about something that happened a year ago. Uh, I'll get a chance to talk to Dan at the end of the season, and uh, I'll give him some viewpoints for me. I'm sure he'll give me his uh, thoughts on what direction we'll go, and so we'll communicate that at the proper time. I take full responsibility for this game today. I didn't have the players ready to play. I thought they were ready to play. Uh, we didn't, uh, obviously, horrendous in special teams. Give them a big play after big play. Didn't tackle like we normally tackle on defense. Uh, offensively, did a couple good things. Couldn't get anything going in the second half. So I'll put that all on me. Any questions? Coach, there's been a couple times over the course of the last few weeks when something's come out that wasn't true, and you did, even in season, say that it wasn't. <clears throat> Why not do that in, in this situation? Well, like I said, there's only one one focus I have now. Anytime that you're, uh, you know, three and nine or three and ten, there's going to be constantly things brought up, time after time. There's one thing that I'll talk about, and that'll be the Atlanta Falcons, uh, or we'll talk about the remaining three games. And so I'm not going to go down that road uh, because I understand what happens when you have the, having the type of season that we're having. A couple of weeks ago, you said that every player, every coach was playing and coaching for their job. After a loss like this, do you worry at all about your job and the staff the rest well, of the year? Like life? I said, you know, my focus is going to be on Atlanta. I'm not going to get away from that. Um, you know, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, did a poor job getting them ready today. Uh, I will get them ready next week. Uh, we've got to play at a much higher level to have a chance to beat a good football team. And that's totally on my shoulders. So in short, you're going to talk about what you feel like talking about, but not anything else. Well, if you'd like to word it that way, I don't like to word it that way. I'd like to, you know, talk about the job at hand, not speculation and um, or my relationship. Um, I'd like to focus on the job at hand. Mike, Mike, have you had a conversation with Dan Snyder since that story came like out? Like I said, we're going to talk. We'll talk about football. We'll talk about Atlanta. I'm not going to get into d details about my relationship with Dan or about the reports that uh, circled this morning just said, you know, when you're going through a season like this one, but you've really never gone through a season quite like this one. Even the year in Denver when you guys kind of collapsed, you'd, Elway had retired and TD got hurt. You've never been through anything quite like this, have you? No, I haven't. I haven't. Not with, not with the football team that did what we did the year before. And relative uh, to the last, I mean, fairly healthy until the last couple of weeks. You know, we've lost a couple of guys over the last few weeks, but before that, uh, uh, we were fairly healthy. Frustrating is it for you to have this kind of year? Yeah, it's frustrating. It's frustrating not to be able to close some games. And, you know, I told you that uh, yeah, i got to do a better job getting these guys ready to play. Uh, today uh, was one of our poor games. Uh, some big plays on special teams. I know they got great returners, uh, uh, but they made us look uh, pretty poor today. Field position was off the charts. Mike, independent of that report, did, do you want to remain the coach here, and do you believe that like you I said, will? you can keep on talking about this. and. I think I made my point. Any questions about football? How do you, after a game like this, how do you get the team prepared to I mean, obviously, whatever happened this week didn't work. Why do you well, I, I told team? them that, uh, you know, I did a poor job getting them ready. I thought, they were gonna, I thought they were ready to play. And any time, you know, you do that, you said, hey, it's my responsibility to get you ready for Atlanta. And I apologize for them not getting them ready to play because that's my job to play at a higher level than we did today. I thought in the second half we came up initially, did some great things, or excellent things on defense. Now we kind of get things going on offense. But, but collectively, we have to play much better than we did. Coach, when you're three and nine now, I guess three and ten, the, the critics will ask the question, you know, give me proof that you haven't lost the ball club. After a performance like today, what do you say to those critics? to make them understand that you have not lost the ball club? How do you prove that? Well, I think what you have to do is take a look at each game over the next three games and see how we play. I can't say anything about today because that speaks for itself. All we got to do is uh, think about Atlanta, our football team in general, our coaching staff, and do the best job we can getting them ready to play there. Think a performance like today, though, I'm talking about, you know, you're talking about missed tackles, four sacks in the first half. I mean, would you agree that that does lend credence to some people who say, he might have lost his ball club. Well, I take full responsibility of that. People are going to say what they're going to say, especially when you're 3-10. and 10. 
and rightfully so. They have uh, they have the right to say and critique. And my job is to get these guys to play better, and hopefully I do. Mike, uh, was the decision to put in Kirk just strictly score and time on, of the game related, or was there anything performance related with Robert? I told Robert, you know, if they scored on a, a play before, I thought uh, the game was out of reach, and once I felt like the game was out of reach, I was going to put Kirk in there. Pardon me? Does Robert start next week? Yeah, we'll talk about all that later. Not to try to, but uh, I would say that about anybody, any position. We'll talk about that if we look at injuries, look at where we're at, and what direction we're going. Anything else? Call the San Francisco loss, I guess. I know it's difficult for a coach to kind of encapsulate the words right after a game. You called the San Francisco loss mm-hmm. an embarrassment, a low point. I mean, come walking off the field today in, in, in these quick moments here, can you summarize, put your finger on, describe? I took full responsibility for that. I don't even go any further. If you'd like to talk more about the running game and Alfred Morris carrying the ball, we could do that. But uh, I think uh, I made my point. Thank you.